The game is not as strong as it seems, because three of the first five are enhanced versions of old games, but also because each game is a masterpiece, so they will not fade away with time. The Tetris Effect Connection, he played the Tetris we know in a fancy way. Gorgeous visuals, rich levels, each level corresponds to a different background, different BGM and corresponding operations as if playing a music rhythm game. Reviving decades old games can keep people playing non-stop. I believe the score is no longer significant. Metroid Ultimate Remake, a game from 21 years ago, scored nearly 94 points after greatly enhancing the graphics and being released on the Switch. It's hard to imagine how ahead of its time this game was when it was released. Wenzo is the ancestor of Galaxy City games. Most familiar games are still in the Adidas era. Nintendo entered the 3D era and none of its subsequent works have surpassed it so far. Until the new machine is out, the four major cakes, painted for six years, may not be launched. Not the complete version of Three Mad Furies, no further details needed. The top PG in the past era of Europe and America laid the foundation for the current Restless Donkey, later added 10 more efforts I am blind, these two god level points app, many updates app, Chinese voiceovers. The main thing is every discount is only a few tens of yuan, even giving 100 points is not too much. In the end, no need to argue about the top two. They are both 96 points, Tears of the Kingdom and Bodes Gate 3, the best games of the year. Others can only do dirty green leaves. Tears of the Kingdom is a love letter to players. Baldur's Gate 3 is the work of Larian Studios, upholding the creative concept of the golden age of RPGs, presenting the best answer to supporters of this game type. Due to their unwavering attitude towards games, sincere efforts to create without being influenced by capital, we can enjoy such creative works this year. No matter who the game of the year is this year, it is the best year for players. I hope that next year's game lineup and developers can do better and better.